Welcome back to GDPG, and we are playing more Final Fantasy XV Platinum. I thought I was supposed to start this one. Uh, he stole it from me. Uh, he keeps doing this. I don't know why he keeps doing this. Uh, it's, it's like he mostly runs a show or something. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we passed like five days just standing in this one spot. I did all the stuff and I got all the things. I destroyed block land because except for those, few I gems. am the kingdom king of block land. I am. <laughs> so declareth you. Yes. Although I, mean, I did really realize no I've been gathering all these gems, and then every time I got hit by an enemy, I would lose gems. Really? S yeah. So what? That means that if there is a hundred percent thing, I'm not gonna get it now because I got hit a few times. Cool. And I assume you can't collect the gems after you've been hit. No. Like they don't just fall out under the ground. Oh, it's no. I'm I'm not Sonic. <laughs> the number has some value, like... maybe. Dude, you gotta know. go fast. <laughs> gotta go fast. All right, let's go. All right, we're going up the things and on the table to where our Fennec Carbuncle friend is. And that's letting me know that enemy is nearby. And uh, there's a, they're trying to surround me like wolves. Do you have health? No. Nope. Maybe the gems are your health. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you are Sonic. <laughs> Sonic. I, uh, I do not know. I think this sword does as much damage as a squeaky hammer now. Wait, I think you get gems for defeating monsters also. Am I? Yeah, you got two from oh. killing that guy. Oh, okay, well, cool. Although yeah. that green, that, like, you see that green part show up? doesn't yeah. do anything. Like, you can't pick it's it just up there. or anything. Yeah, it's, it's the, uh, I want it. It's the Nothing. soul of the monster you just Yeah, but then killed. why would they make it look like a cri uh, crystal? Maybe ah! maybe those are the two, ah! the two crystals that you're oh, getting. Oh, I'm just trying to knock them out. The no, switch to the... Bonk. Whatever. Bonk. Wow. I remember how annoying these things are. These things, by the <laughs> way, I feel like have been slowed down significantly. Yeah. Um, because uh, they're not half as annoying as they were in Sky. I got Thunderbolt times five. Meaning you can use five of them. Yeah. Um, so it's like, so that's basically, I feel like it's showing you how magic's going to work, but it's doing it in item form. Was there magic in Dusuke? Um, Not for your main character, but, uh, but I forgot his They just I forgot used his it name. like... Yeah, the other party members. Well, at least the guy with the gun. I can't remember his name, okay. but the guy who kind of looks like Cloud, but he's like, you know, he has a better personality, honestly. Um, and he shoots the gun. <laughs> he's also a mage. But I thought, right. he was, I thought that character was so... Like, at first I hated him, and then after playing with him for a bit, I loved him because... Like, whenever he would get hit or he was about to get hit, he would, like, slide around and run around. And he's like, ah, and he's, like, tripping all over the place. I remember That's hilarious. That. He was, like, a comic relief character that I actually found interesting and not Love? just annoying. Aw, friend. Right, right there, the, the house. house. It's the inside the house. Not yet. I want to hit this ball with a hammer. It's like a... a ah. mini Whoa. <laughs> I I will be honest. I didn't expect that to happen. That's amazing. Sweet. Oh, now I have to see if there's things I can hit. I feel like you've been knocking over plenty of things. Thus I far. have. Okay, so there's there's three on the table, four on the table total. Who I'm, has I mean, these on their dinner table, by the way? Just little. I water. mean, who has a little like toy blockhouse? It's obviously. Well, that's why I said that. I was like, oh, maybe it's a play area, and then I was like, oh, but there's a. Dining room. Okay, so maybe that's like maybe, where the parents. I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe the. You know how like a lot of fancy people, they'll just like leave their fancy dining wear sitting out. Sometimes people will even have tables for like fancy dining wear, dining wear just sitting out, and they never actually eat at the table. They just leave it out purely uh, yeah. for decoration. Yeah, and then whenever somebody poor like myself comes and visits them, I feel uncomfortable sitting near that table. I know. I know how you feel, man. But maybe, maybe I can get a ball into a cup. Maybe this is one of those deals, right, where they just like have fancy teacups always sitting out, and the little kid in this area was just like, "I want to play on the table," so he played on the table. All right. No one's ever gonna eat there, so they never oh, noticed. Oh, not even cl wow, that one went really far. I just want to like get you, into a teacup. You just gotta hit your buddy and like knock him off. Him, Carbuncle? I can't <laughs> fight Carbuncle. <laughs> Look how big he is. He's so intimidating. I don't know, man. You don't know. T <laughs> well, don't know till you try. <laughs> no teacup for me. Oh. Now I'm angry. <laughs> get, get out of here. King of Blockland. You got everything on here. Let's move Apparently to the next area. Apparently, I didn't. Wait, and now I have everything. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, it's so Kingdom Hearts. 
It is very Kingdom Hearts. I, I love it, though. It's Kingdom Hearts in a good way. Yeah, I I know I compared it to um, Alice in Wonderland in that last episode, but obviously Kingdom Hearts was also inspired by Alice in Wonderland, so it kind of makes sense how yep. it's for sort of fits the mold of both. Yeah, and it's very interesting. It's, it's like... It's not even subtly like Kingdom Hearts meets Alice Wonderland. It is. It is that, and um, I mean they, it, it's it's not like they're hiding it. They're they're pretty obvious, but I, I I respect that. I mean it's certainly like we're in a dream world, so that makes sense too. Um, this world in general is hyper realistic, mm-hmm. so so like even the fancy like I don't know house and dining ware like that all makes sense too. So uh, yeah. It's not out of place, it, but at the same time, it's... We're looking for a long life. hallway that'll lead to the end of your dream. Okay, so is this the final area? Yep. Oh, wow. So it's a pretty short demo, all things considered. After getting everything and, like, really exploring and doing a couple things more than once, it took me about an hour and 50 to get through it. Mm. Um, but as I said, that was getting through, like, everything. Presents... Uh, I got a shiny, shiny hammer. Him. Is it not going to make a blip noise anymore? <laughs> well, let's find out. Ooh, it blips and it explodes. Yep, like any real ch- children's toy should. Dude, this is... Squeaky ex- explosion. If if a hammer was my, my weapon of choice, I would want it to make squeaky noises and explode. How on demoralizing impact. would that be for your opponents? I know, right? Well, it's like... Uh... Oh, yeah, it like one-shots everything now. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. Just, just, <laughs> oh man. Well, it's it's like Ka-ka. our it's like our one buddy in in the Mage Wars universe. Um, for anyone that's watched Arcane Duels, his name is Puddinhead. Oh, and his yes. his justification for it is how how like embarrassing is it to be beaten by a guy named Puddinhead? <laughs> or or it, and even if he loses, he'd be like, well. I beat Puddinhead, <laughs> and then you can't even feel like proud of yourself <laughs> because you beat a guy named Puddinhead. Yep, <laughs> I love it. It's the same thing. If you have like a, a squeaky hammer that's actually really powerful, but every time you hit it, it just goes quick. Like you got beat by him, a squeaky him, hammer, ha-ha! or you beat a guy bolt. that uses a squeaky hammer. <laughs> <You> squeaky hammer. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, a lose lose scenario. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, uh, oh, by the way, it's raining. Maybe I don't want it to rain. Which is really pretty. I actually like the ambient sounds for it. Oh, or, or you could just remove it. Thanks. I could, or I, I can make it overcast. Or, uh, uh there we go. It's kind of cool how it just, it's like, murky. morphs into it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Actually, um... I, I didn't point it out before, so I'll, I'll do it here. It's actually pretty beautiful. We'll make it... Da, da, da. The weather change. Yes, I know it's raining. Thank you, Carbuncle. And make it daylight out again. I like that a lot of... Like, maybe half of what uh, Carbuncle communicates to you through is through emojis. Oh, it's great. <laughs> and... Uh... Ready? Oh, yeah. Ooh, I liked the, like, Milky Way, too. It is very Milky Way. Oh, it's way-ish. not even half as good as, uh, I guess, because we're in the city. It's actually, ah, oh, clever, guys. Um, it's in the first area, it's, like, ten times more beautiful. Yeah? But you see all of the stars move, or it's just great. And and in the city, it's washed out from all the lights. It's very realistic. I like it. Oh, I accidentally threw thunder at it. I don't think that's how you open a door, buddy. <laughs> that's how the king of Blockland opens a door. <laughs> I like how it's not the king or prince of uh, <laughs> e- Eos. Uh, well, that's the world. I don't remember what the city is called. Well, whatever the city is, but no, it's the ki- the king of Blockland. The king of Blockland. <laughs> well, there's a there's an enemy over there, so there's only one way to deal with this scenario. Oh, Mo. Okay. Oh, that's different. Uh, <laughs> is this not what you encountered? No, you every <laughs> other time I hit that, I turned into a different creature. Maybe it's because it was daytime. Yeah, that's what I would think. That has to be it. Yeah, before. That's super cool, though. I, I would turn into... Get on my antlers. <laughs> 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 what, what were some of the other creatures? Um, Let's find out. <laughs> I forgot what it was called, but it was one of the things that I fought from um 
from the uh, from Deuce Sky. Oh, okay. Uh, that's that's. I mean, what corn. you were was basically a deer giraffe. What was what? How? What kind of like weird animal would you describe? Me? Uh, the next one is like the bison um, elephant. Oh, one of the things that you could sort of kill, and then they would destroy you because yeah, because they're really tough. But then once you got used to them, they're fun. All right, cool. So we made it. We're changing. It. Oh, it's maybe it's because it's daytime or not. I'm not sure. Let's. It's probably because it's nighttime. So let's change it to. The morning. So here's a question dawn. for you. Yes. This this demo doesn't seem particularly difficult. Nah. Um, have you lost in this? Like, have you been killed? <gasps> Whoa! What? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, maybe like being in a dream world, you're unlikely to lose because you know. No, it's, no, it's, Noctis is just like awesome. Because he's <laughs> the kid. Because he's like, he's no one can beat land. me. I'm yeah. the king of Blockland. <laughs> I'm the king of Blockland, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I I haven't even. There's no health bar, so no. Oh, you know what? Actually, okay. I have almost lost, but not here. Okay, so that's probably something that's coming up. Yes. All right, cool. So it's pure daylight now. I think this is where we'll see the elephant buffalo guy. So maybe the whole point early early game, so prior to like the end boss, the right? right maybe the whole point is to get as many gems as you can so your health is like greater than... Uh, it, it's, I'm going to let you know now. Are your no, that's not it. I was just about what? to joke and say how funny it would be if those stopped you. <laughs> Well, he just, he does good stampeding damage, and he has, like, a little boar attack or whatever. I'm not nearly as impressed as I was with the little reptile guy. Yeah, no, the reptile the guy was awesome. Giant antler dude. All right. I feel like the, 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 the like, deer. weird crocodile ape, though, I feel yeah. like he was the coolest, if only because you can oh, actually bite. Okay. Well, I guess not ape, but... I don't know, what, would, what is he? He's definitely crocodile and something else. He moves like a, like a bat. Oh yeah, it kind of does. Like when he's um, walking around. Although imagine that sucker with wings. That would be terrifying. It'd be almost like snakes with wings. They exist. That's They're true. real. They are Nowhere is safe. <laughs> Nowhere is safe. Dude, so much power. So what's the point of this area? Are you just killing everyone? Uh, or is there an actual yeah. like go-to location? No, I mean there there's a go-to location and. Maybe if I weren't having so much fun as a, a bat, alligator, dragon thing. <laughs> Can I just, like, run? Okay, so this guy can't run things over. I mean, he is a lot smaller. Yeah. Oh, throwing fireworks. Great job. Bonk. There we go. Fixed it. <laughs> okay. Is this is this the final area before the, the Bef showdown? Before the showdown, okay. yes. Uh, let me show you real quick the I'm not gonna bother getting everything like I did before, but let me show you where I screwed up before. Oh question mark. Oh, this is interesting Something stirs in the dreamscape. Remember when your dad bought that ball for you that ball you wanted? I Do it makes you so happy, but what you wanted most was for him to play with you Okay, okay makes sense is that a dead chocobo? I think it's a chocobo like with a broken wing or something like that. I remember when you used to wait for your dad while watching the sunset. It was really sad. You'd wait until dinner hoping he'd show, but nobody came. He's a busy guy. After a while, you learned to cope with the disappointment by pretending you didn't care. That's how you start becoming a jaded person. <laughs> with a little person off in a corner. It's uh, the little cactus people. Was it? That was oh, that cactus. totally yeah. was a cactor. That's sad. Um, Are you just like breaking the balls? Stupid! I just, just never wanted to play anyway. <laughs> oh, and that was that. That's, that's that's all you get. So this is the part that I missed. This gem? it was just a thing. I saw a box. I hit it, and, that and then was you that. ran off. And then no, I oh, saw. I saw. It. I was yeah. The box is broken. And I tried climb. I was like, oh, well, I maybe see. I can jump down from there. You can't get up there. Okay, well, so actually, that's, that's I, I want to talk about that. What do you think about scenarios like that where 
um, the player can screw themselves over and make a situation impossible. Is that okay? I mean, in a game like this, especially, do you think that that actually makes sense? Um, so normally I would say no problem, sure, uh, except for that's the only time in the game that that happens. So it was kind of mm. like a like an uppercut, like out of nowhere. And yeah. I wasn't exactly happy about it. Not like I'm not angry. I was just kind of like, ah, oh, dick, move. I mean, even thinking about like, so the type of level design that we're seeing is very akin to what we see in classic. Um, like collect them all games like Banjo Kazooie, right? It's obviously not as deep as that, and there's more. The combat in this is deeper than most of those games generally mm -hmm. got. Um, but the level design is really important for those games because, generally speaking, they do never have that situation in which you totally screw yourself over. And if they do, um, there's a way to amend it either by leaving the area and coming back or just like waiting a certain period of time for something to regenerate. Yeah. Obviously you can't do that in this game. And it's, it's, it's a demo, right? So not that we expect it to be perfect either, but it's important to talk about, I, I think. It really is. And I mean, at the same time, it it also should tell you how the game's gonna play overall once you actually do dive into Mm -hmm. into the actual game once you know this is no longer the demo is that something that I should expect and, you know if it were the full game I would I would I would expect it to re return once I come back but mm -hmm. it being the demo you know that's it's that sort of beyond the realm of possibility um Okay, anyway, that's the end of this episode. We went a little bit long with this one. But no, that's fine, because we have the last area, and then we're there. Um, so weed. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I think my question of the day is actually going to revolve around the animals and maybe what the point of them are, or maybe even what all the transformations are, right? Because like, we in saw general. the cars in the last area, and we see the animals in this area. So it, it could be for a lot of reasons, right? But it doesn't seem like we've needed them for anything in particular. They just sort of are there. Um, so what do you guys think the point is from maybe the perspective of this being a demo? Maybe it's to show off those monsters or those assets, or maybe it's supposed to show us a function of the game yet to come. Um, but it could be a lot of different things. So what do you guys think? That's and, a good uh, question, I feel. Especially because we do know that one of the monsters is actually you fight in Do Sky. Mm -hmm. So we do know that they're, that they're not just random. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you cool. for watching, everybody. Be sure to vote on what you want us to see, what you want us to play, and what you want to see in the next series. And uh, until then, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for watching, so, everyone. See you later.